What would you like to see if you could start from scratch? What is the next generation of healthcare practitioners? What should they look like and how should they be educated? The significance of this building was the way that it was designed. By being a mock hospital, it allows our students to actually interact within a setting and actually have all the tools and resources necessary to learn with a hands-on experience. We went and we toured across the country. I went out to Oregon. I looked at their simulation center and what they're doing. Um, I went to a large institution in Pittsburgh to see what it is that they were doing as these were the simulation centers, if you will, that were being uh, touted as the best that was across the, the country. And once I seen what they had and what they were doing, I could put that all together and I knew that what we could do could even be better. We are fortunate that Manatee Memorial Hospital Foundation was a real contributor to our success. If it weren't for their help, we would not be able to build this building to the quality and to the specs that it is. This shows a true community partnership. Authenticity begins right from the very beginning. Come off that hospital-sized elevator, which uh, has the full hospital bed. The first thing you will see is a little waiting room. Once you come into the unit, the nurses will be there waiting for you. You'll see the monitors and you'll be escorted on down right into a real ICU room where you will see all of the equipment that you would see if you went into an ICU unit in almost any of our institutions around here. And that's where the action happens. Three, one, two, three, slowly. Good job. Let's get this out. With the SCF simulation lab, from its design, from just at the patient's room, for the whole environment, it prepares the nurse, it prepares the student to be a nurse in a real hospital or real care setting. This technology gives us the affordability to be unpredictable. We can throw students that curveball, unpredictable, and that they're not sure when it's going to happen, and change it up so that they may have to do a procedure they didn't expect to do at all. Ooh. Mr. Check. Apple, check a pulse on mine. Mr. Apple? Mr. Apple? Okay, let's crash. I got no pulse. Can you get no the crash here. card, please? Bring the crash card in. Call it code blue for me. With the simulation that we had upstairs, it threw you into a very uncomfortable situation in that you're delivering a fresh post-operative patient, and all of a sudden this patient started doing something you didn't expect. They started having complications. Is somebody calling his doctor? He's on his way. We recognized those complications, we saw it and we confirmed it by the simulation, and then we started delivering intervention. And everybody clear. I'm clear, you're clear, everybody's clear. Shocking. When we defibrillate the patient, we actually see a response on the monitor. Um, and when we actually gave the medications for the patient, we actually saw how the patient changed and how he got better from the medications we gave. Okay, give us that one round of that beat, going in. These high fidelity simulators provide us with this technology that truly creates a realism for the students. Mike, I got a pulse. I got to the femur. Mr. Apple, can you hear me? With simulators, it improves your bedside manner. It allows you to have the realistic feel of a patient, grabbing their hand, putting your hand on their shoulder, getting down at their level. Having this experience, having this environment to practice in and train in, or is going to make you an outstanding nurse. I feel prepared to go out into the community once going through this lab. Not only do we have an ICU wing, a whole wing with 10 simulators, we have another area which has eight beds where students can just learn their basic skills. They can learn how to do that blood pressure. They can learn how to talk to that patient. They can learn how to help that patient get out of bed, how to safely move a patient. Um, once they learn how to do health assessment, they can move into the health assessment lab in a clinic type setting. And in this clinic type setting, they're able to um, learn how to do a good health assessment. Your blood pressure is 123 over 77, and that's great. We have a lot of simulated body parts. We wanted to make sure that students could touch and feel and really look, have something for their own. They didn't have to share a lot. 
So we have plenty of that. Along with the models, we have the cold storage, where students could learn anatomy and physiology on a cadaver. In our chemistry and microbiology labs, we have microscopes on every desk so that students don't have to share. In addition to our healthcare programs and our nursing program, in this building we have our early childhood education program for birth to four years, where we have an open lab for them and we have a teacher prep institute. One of the contributing factors to this building and the health and wellness to our students and the, and the faculty that will be working in here is that this is a green building. We will not use any perfumes, any uh, formaldehydes, any odd odors will not be in this building. Lots of light, lots of quiet spaces. It's a green building. What separates us in our college is that we're being a leader both not only in the medical simulation area but also in the sustainability area. The reason we built the Cheller plant the way we did is because it took a lot of foresight as to where we want to go as an institution and one of the things we want to do is teach sustainability. This energy efficient chiller shows a cutting edge way in which we as an institution are saving dollars. 28% energy costs are being saved by the way we're doing this chiller. What we are doing today is blending two areas that are important to this community, healthcare and sustainability. By being a LEED certified building, it means that we have done the things that are necessary to create a sustainable future for the community. By creating a mock hospital, we are giving our students and our community opportunity for the future.